right now, and this really is a parent's worst fear, a crash with their teen behind the wheel. Car accidents remain the leading cause of death for teenagers, but they're also the most preventable. Our witness news reporter Jim Bernstein joins us now in University City with how one local research center is finding out the most common errors for young drivers. Jim, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Yuki and Erica. Well, we all know one slip up, one mistake, especially on a road like the Schuylkill Expressway behind me, can really end a life. And that's a parent's worst nightmare. They don't want that to obviously happen. If they knew what specifically teen drivers are doing wrong when they're first learning and getting behind the wheel, well, it's certainly easier to prevent them. And that's exactly what CHOP Center for Injury Research and Prevention is trying to help parents with. Have a listen in. They can be deadly distractions, smartphones, GPS, a car full of friends. Add to that inexperience and you've got the potential for a teen car crash. 16-year-old Evan Singh, a high school junior, is trying to prevent mistakes by learning to drive the right way. What do you think was the most challenging part? Um, it was more the mentality, like the actual physical driving part's the easy part, but knowing when to anticipate stuff and knowing what's going on around you is the hard part. That's where instructor Jerry Murphy comes in. For 15 years, he's worked with new drivers. 16,000 cars crash every day in the United States. So if we can come up with methods or uh, techniques that can help kind of reduce that number, um, that's, a, that's a really good thing. At the Center for Injury Research and Prevention at CHOP, scientists are taking a closer look at these new driver mistakes. What we're finding with teen driving is that what's happening in the most serious crashes are some very key errors. They're not scanning, they're going too fast for road conditions, and they're distracted. In fact, a recent CHOP study found 75% of serious teen crashes were due to a critical teen driver error. This simulator is helping identify the cause of teen crashes, mimicking what a driver would see through a windshield. It can be set to different scenarios, including challenging weather events or situations with careless drivers. When new drivers are in cars, they, they look straight ahead of them. They don't look to the side or far ahead. And the far ahead is necessary to determine, for example, if a road is curving to the left so that you can slow down. Things like that that allow you to anticipate. Um, I think a lot of families confuse passing the license test with meaning that you're experienced and the team's ready to go out on their own, but it's not true. And we'll make a left here. Instructor Jerry Murphy, who is helping analyze the simulator research, hopes it will prevent future team crashes. It's like unturning you know, these stones every day to try to find solutions and things that could you know, help keep these young drivers alive. Evan, the teen in that story, is looking forward to his newfound freedom. Specifically, he tells me not having to ask his mom for rides. Now, if you want more information on that research, we have you covered. You can go to our website, cbsphilly.com. Go to the links and numbers section.